Hello, I'm Dr. Zach Anderson. I'm the current PGY1 uh, resident at Amherst Family Practice here in Winchester, Virginia. So I guess uh, to tell you a little bit about my program and my experiences over this past year, uh, I should start off just by explaining that I believe that my program is actually a really unique PGY1 pharmacy practice residency in the fact that it is almost completely I'd say at least 90% ambulatory care focused and driven. So if uh, you're not interested in AmCare, this is definitely not the right program for you. Uh, one of the other things that I think is a, a real benefit and something that I've enjoyed about this residency is that all the uh, experiences or, or rotations, whatever you may call it, are longitudinal, which means you, they're spread out throughout the year uh, for a, to last a, make a longer experience. And so you're able to see the similar patients and uh, form those relationships. As I said, this is a uh, ambulatory care um, residency. So your primary site is a local family medical uh, practice right here in Winchester, Virginia. And that is, like I said, your main site where you will be spending most days of your week there throughout the whole year. And I definitely think that's probably one of the most rewarding experiences of this uh, residency in the fact that I was able to create personal, professional, and dynamic relationships with all of the staff as well as the providers there at Amherst Family Practice, in addition just to great friendships. But you also get to see the same patients over and over again and get to form those trusting patient uh, provider relationships as well as friendships that you actually hate to leave at the end of the year. Um, I'm coming up at the end of my residency now, and so I, for the last couple of weeks, I've been having to tell all the patients goodbye. And it's, I mean, some of them, some uh, patients can actually get emotional because they, they become attached to you throughout the year. So it's actually one of the sweet and rewarding things about the um, residency as well. Uh, another positive thing is the relationship with the residency with uh, Shenandoah University and the School of Pharmacy. So uh, my director, Dr. Hoverda, as well as my preceptor, Dr. Trompeter, are all employed by the uh, university, as well as all the other different um, preceptors and facilitators that you have throughout the residency. And they're all just knowledgeable clinicians that are well-versed, well-trained, and will do a great job giving you the clinical side of um, um, pharmacy and uh, just being a practitioner as a whole. But not only that, they're also just good-hearted people that are fun to work with. So that's something I've definitely enjoyed getting to know them and working with them throughout the year. That's definitely been a pleasure of mine as, as well. And then also, as I'm sure you might have heard from some of the other residents, um, the uh, some of the uh, programs that are available with the Shenandoah University School of Pharmacy including the bi-monthly journal club and monthly residency forums where we talk about relevant topics to pharmacy as well as just becoming a more well-rounded um, clinician as well as the residency teaching certificate where you uh, not only learn the science or pedagogy behind being a teacher but you also get first-hand experience providing lectures, precepting students as, and uh, facilitating small lab groups as well. So. I'm actually leaving here and accepting a faculty position at another school of pharmacy and I feel very prepared coming just out of a PGY1 residency to become the member, uh, becoming a faculty member at another school of pharmacy and pursuing a career in academia as well, which has been probably one of the most rewarding experiences as well. So I know I've said that a lot, a lot of rewarding experiences and so that's ultimately to sum up my experience is it's just been rewarding in all aspects. It's been hard. Everything that people tell you about a residency is true. Um, that's why, I mean, there, that's why there's not uh, a million residencies out there is because they are tough and so it takes a lot of time and effort on not only the residence part but as well as the director and all the preceptors as well. So it is, it's not um, to be taken lightly. As well as um, my biggest advice for anybody pursuing a residency is getting to know your co-residents because that's the only way you're going to survive your residency year is making good friends and making good memories.